Um, the, the most iconic cars that probably ring through to a lot of people are the, um, which is offering the spring effect on that side. And then when it both comes together, um, we're using the, the monoshock, the spring on there. So that is really cool. But it's got one on the back as well. And on the back, yeah. So you can see here, we've actually got this cantilever suspension here off this upper control arm. And that comes down to the point here. And the, the most iconic cars that probably ring through to a lot of people are these. These very cars are probably yep. the most iconic in Tamiya's re-release range. Yep. So here we've actually been commissioned by a customer of ours yep. who got in touch and said, hey, I love what you guys do. We'd, I'd love you guys to build us, to build me four cars, get it running and do yep. it in box art. So that's what we've managed to do. And I thought it's such a shame to do all this work and not actually show people because a lot of people may not have seen them in box art other than in the boxes. Yes. So they sort of span back. I mean, this is probably the most modern car. So yep. this is a Grasshopper 2 Black Edition. Yes. And it's got the ABS body yep. and the oil-filled CVA shocks. Yeah, they feel good. Um, which is probably realistically the most advanced car here. Yeah. Probably the most popular uh, or iconic would be this hot shot. Yeah. This is something that uh, really created a lot of buzz around four-wheel drive at it the time, did. didn't in it? In the mid-80s, for the, sure. In the very early to mid-80s. Yeah. Um, and from this, it's, yeah. So we can have a look at this a little bit closer because I want to show people the cantilever suspension. Oh, sure. So okay. that is really cool. Yep. Um, and then, of course, we've got the, the, the Hornet. Yep. Most people have, are very familiar with a Hornet or seen a Hornet. A lot but, of people would have started off with a Hornet. Yeah, didn't they? Mm. Um, and having, this is my first, I haven't really got much experience building to me kits, believe it or not. Um, and having built um, these four and done these ones up, this has got the most difficult sticker kit for the most simplest car you could ever imagine. So it's quite quite a challenge just in the decals. The rest of it is all very, very good. Yeah. I've got the classic frog here. And you got the frog, which is everybody knows is very dear to my heart. Yeah. Well, we've had one of these going around the track, haven't we? And it actually looks really cool in box art. It does. It does. So um, there's only been one one slight alteration from the box art that I've used the pearl white on that. Not the not just the really um, I want to say bland, really stark. PS1. I think it works really well because it's it's quite subtle. You've got that that slight golden pearl going yeah, it through just it. Adds to the sort of but it's, retro. Still, it's still white for sure. So it does definitely look like the box hard on that. Yeah. So they're not meticulous concourse builds because as everybody knows, there's just hours and hours in that alone. Yeah. These were built to a budget, but I think the customer will be more than very happy with it. Well, you've done a really good job, I think. So let's have a look at the hot shot because it's got some really cool features, doesn't it? It has. Um, yep. And they'll probably quite... never be on cars again. Well, that's it. So it was quite stunning, all these features when it's first released. So it has a four-wheel drive transmission. Um, so it uses a, a prop shaft up the up one side of the car to link the rear and the front together. We've got the um, the offset motor over here, and it does just come with a sealed um, 540 can Mabuchi. So it's not going to be the super powerful. I think originally they come with Technigolds or something. Didn't What's they? That? Is that right? These cars. Did they? They wouldn't have no, had a silver no, can. No, no, they had the silver can. Oh, did they? Was it yeah. the super shots that had the Technigolds? That's right. Right. So it wasn't a Technigold. I got um, uh, corrected there. It was actually a Techni Power. Techni Power. Yeah. Um, so we've got that. Um, and if we have a look on the overhead, which we're looking. You can see here the front suspension and how unique it is. We've got a, a mono shock front end, so where you've got one shock absorber that's doing all the work. And you can see here when I, I compress both wheels, how it compresses. Mm -hmm. And then if I do one, it just does one side. And the springiness or this is coming through this torsion bar or sway bar, yep. if you will, um, which is offering the spring effect on that side. And then when it both comes together, um, we're using the the monoshock, yep. the spring on there. So that is really cool. But it's got one on the back as well. And on the back, yeah. Um, I, I won't take the wing off. So on won't the back, Let's see if I can focus we've in actually got a cantilever suspension. Where are we, Beige? Uh, Probably a little bit tight. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. There we go. So you can see here, we've actually got this cantilever suspension here off this upper 
control arm and that comes down to the point here so you can see when I when I actuate this that it both comes up it's not a huge amount of suspension travel that said it's also awkward to hold it's quite clever how that, that particular linkage here works we yeah. just push them one up and then if we just push the one up get my finger out of the way <laughs> so that is really cool and really unique to the hot shot yep. now that linkage comes up over here to a rocker to the shock the shock absorber which is on the top here to sort of hidden under the wing where are we looking there it is yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm just trying to focus it in how's that yeah so i can see here how it's all moving yeah. and working together yeah yeah amazing um yeah so it's really cool design features um they fitted it with the retro um resistor heat sinks yeah that i mean that was a very big look on the actual car right and so, they, they made them a bit different because these were the cylindrical ones uh, they used yeah. to be just big chunky block ones in all the other cars yeah yeah so they actually made them look pretty in this yeah um but these are purely just for style and aesthetics these machined alloys yep um yeah really really cool just takes it to me a stick pack um yep. and it is fitted up wide and i'm assuming that it will be played with it's got mm. a bear, it's got a bearing kit in there yep. and it is right to go so that is uh the to me a hot shot yeah how yeah. good is it go to the front one there we yeah, go. that is the hot shot very red um very cool and very iconic mm. so i sort of blessed um I didn't feel it at the time to have the opportunity because i may never do it again hopefully yep. <laughs> but yeah it's not something that i ever played with when i was younger but yeah i've got to like everybody now have a look at it so yeah, it's got it's front cool. and rear differentials yep dog bones it's really cool mm. it looks quite robust but i've got my reservations well i mean it's a fairly complicated design really from the 80s it is yeah and it does have big chunky gears in there yep um, but that said, it's all sort of like a bevel drive. So when you're transferring force from 90 degrees around corners and stuff, things tend to, but I'm sure that it's people probably played with these for years before they, they wore out or broke. Yeah. Well, most of the time these broke due to accidents. Yeah. Yeah. It's got so quite think... long suspension arms in that for the time. It does. When you compare that to like the frog, it's got like these little, yeah, little, little swing arms, inch, inch long suspension arms. Yep you know it really looks and look at the suspension travel yeah you know and there's no shock absorber on there well the, the, one of the selling features for the hot shot was having double wishbone suspension front and rear well that would have been yeah and the cantilever shocks and yep. motor shocks really cool I, I loved it um yeah and i just wanted to bring it on and show you guys because yeah it's not very often we get to see these re-rays built up and out of the box like that because they're clever too this is the way that they changed the uh spring pre-made show yeah. it so you just pull it across and just, you just move it just yep. like a cam and that's basically reduce the change your ride right yeah no really clever all in one same with the bag as well and that's the same right. sort of cam system built into it that's right that is mm. really cool